Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm going to teach how to do our own aura cleanse. Now, <clears throat> I don't like judging or accusing, okay? But if you go to somebody and you ask them to do this for you, they will probably charge you anywhere between $30 up to a couple of hundred dollars. Today, you get this for free. And the best beauty of all this is that every time you feel down, every time you feel low, every time you're just in that icky feeling, come back and watch this again and do it again with me as I do it. Because the more times we cleanse out our aura, the more chance of it staying in this beautiful positive energy. Okay? All right. So, <clears throat> auras. In my last video, which I said, how do we not attach or attract energies? I was talking about how we've all got an energy field around us, which is our aura. Okay? Now, I personally do see auras on people. They shine as not like these. Hello, I'll just explain. I went over to the hardware shop. I went to this paint section and I took all these samples. Oops. This poor lady standing next to me as I'm picking out all the colours. She actually said, she was looking at me like, as I'm taking them off the shelf, she thought, man, how much painting has she got? So I've got the reds, the purples, the pinks. Um, the yellows and the oranges and I've got all the blues and the purples and the greens all right because there's three per page as you can see so when I do readings or have people here at my house I tell them what color aura they've got okay so let's just go with the top one this one in the middle it's called adventure so there's adventure blue okay I'll just bring it up so you can see it's called adventure okay so I give the people their color so then they can go home and research it because one of the things I don't do I do not look and Google what does a blue aura mean or what does a green aura mean because then that's my ego um, knowing what to see around people okay so I don't research it I only know the colors that I see around people okay so we've all got an aura around us, which is fantastic. Shouldn't go there, but it is apparent that a lot of people are now losing their auras. Okay, I will go there. Um, if I speak like 80% of people are now losing their auras, but there are ways of bringing it back, which is a good thing. Okay, if you know what I'm talking about, something. Okay. So let's go there. And it's not just me that's not seeing auras now, okay? Um, a lot of psychics, healers, Reiki people, they're having trouble connecting now. So I hope this one helps anyone who has had the, um, in the 80%. Um, please know, hope is not lost, okay? So today I think it's important that we do talk about how to cleanse our aura and to bring it back into that vibrant, yummy color that I see. Because when I see auras, I don't see them like this. This is this is very bland and it's very um, flat. Flat is the word. When I see auras around people, it's very vibrant. It's dimensional. It's transparent as well as fluorescent, glitterized. So it sparkles when I see auras, okay? It's really cool, okay? So... Today I'm going to go through the four ways of doing our auras. There's four steps, okay? Four steps. So if you're watching this and you want to know how to do it so you can do it every week, my suggestion is you do it about every three or four days, okay? I do my own auras about once or twice a week, okay? Grab a pen and paper and write down these steps. You're getting it for free. Or come back, watch this again, okay? So, if you ran off and get your paper, number one, we must believe because our aura is invisible. We can't see it. And so many people trust with their five senses. So please, we've got to just sit there and trust and believe 
that what we're doing is going to work okay I see auras so whenever I do auras I it's easy for me because I see the colors coming away but if you don't see the colors don't worry about it because you're still doing it even though you can't see it because you trust that it works okay so we must trust that what we're about to do is going to work the second step so first one was trust the second step is to be, um sorry we've done believe and trust the second one is to get an intention now I talk about intentions a lot because that's what we use when we're in heaven it's our thoughts so what is your intention of doing your aura cleanse is it to get off bad energy because that's usually the number one reason if you want to get rid of all the negative energy around you you put that out there and you say right I now have this intention where I want to get rid of all the negativity around me okay so that's number two number three is to do the sweeping now what is the sweeping we must believe that around us we have this energy field that contains both negative and positive energy you know if you're into science protons electrons and what's the other one neutrons okay negative positive and neutral energies it's science so what happens is when we are going to get rid of negative around us we've got to put it somewhere so as part of this step with doing the sweep you've got to imagine where this negative energy is going me I imagine that outside my house I've got a rubbish bin and on the top it's got a big lid with a padlock so I look at this bin and I unlock it and I throw the lid off and then down in the bin it goes all the way down to the core of the planet so that's one way the other one that people use is you imagine a place far 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 away further than the furthest stars and you look out at that universe and you think right that's where I'm sending it to okay way 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 away so you can either stick it down to the middle of the universe um, which is the core of the earth so it rotates and becomes renewable fresh positive energy or you throw it out into the universe okay so I like using the wheelie bin because I can imagine I can see a little wheelie bin like a rubbish bin outside my door and I take and I unlock it and I take the lid off and I throw all the energy down into there so how do we do it I believe that this is going to work I've got my intention I want all the negative energy from me to go and get into that rubbish bin I've created that rubbish bin look at that hole going all the way down ah. okay and now we do the sweeping so what do we do our, our aura is anything up to about four foot in radius from our body so we don't actually have to physically touch ourselves all we've got to do is sweep now sweeping is like this imagine that you've got a bug in your hair and you're trying to sweep it out get out of me get off get out fly away fly away oh while you're there fly down into that willy bin so I think of all the negativity the hatred the anger the sarcasm the jealousies of other people the greed all those negative traits that I don't want around me I cast you out and I put you now into that willy bin so as I do the sweep I say anything negative around me you have no right and no permission to stay on my mind body soul spirit or energy field I give you no consent I give you no permission for you are not invited to stay here you must now leave and get into that wheelie bin down you go and then we do our arms all the way around get off me get off me and get into that wheelie bin get off me all the way around our head all the way around our body 
and then you stand up and you do all around your legs even your toes look I've got my toes here all around your toes nick off nick off I don't want you on me today Nick off. You, I have no right. I give you no right, no permission to stay on me. All this negative energy, you must now leave. Get out of me. Get away from me. Get off me and get into that wheelie bin. Okay? Now, I used to teach first aid. And when we, I used to do first aid, I used to teach... Um, <laughs> I've just forgotten the words. Heat stroke is hyperthermia. And hypothermia is when we get really cold. So hypothermia happens when we're in like the snow or minus Celsius or Fahrenheit um, temperatures. Hyperthermia is when we heat up over about 42 Celsius and we get heat stroke and we can die. So when I used to train this, I used to teach people there are three places on our body where heat, which is energy, likes to attract to. Can anybody work it out? There's three places on our body that attracts heat. Some of you may have said our head. You know, and that's why we put on a beanie or a hat when we're cold. But it's actually not. It's our neck. Okay? The first one is our neck. The second area is our armpits. And the third one is our groin. You know, down there, where we have hair. Think about it. When our bodies, as humans, when we get cold, the, the hair that grows in our armpits, groins, and our head, it acts as a cooling device. So when we get cold, hang on, start again. I think I just confused myself. Let's start with cold. When we're cold, the hair in our armpits groin and around our neck. Hello, look at this. I've got a scarf on. See, we use our hair as a scarf to keep our necks warm. So when we're cold, it's our heating device. And that's why we get armpit hair that grows to about... But look how long our hair grows. Because this gets longer so we can keep ourselves warm when it's cold. Working this out? When it's hot, what happens is the pores where the hair grows, and I'm not going to go there, you can just imagine this one, right? <clears throat> it sweats because as the breeze comes through, all that sweat stays on the hair follicle, on the hair, and it cools us down when we're hot. So that's why we sweat most of all around where our hair grows and our armpits down there as well okay now you know now i will just go there a little saying that i heard years ago men have sweaty balls true think about it because what it's doing is it's our natural cooling down process so it's energy this all relates to our auras because when we're doing our aura cleanse guess where the negative energy negative energy where do you think it hangs out? In these three areas. Neck, armpit and the groin area. So when you're doing your sweeping, guys, sweep around the back of your neck. Get off me. Get into that wheelie bin. I give you no right, no permission. You have no consent to stay on me. All that negativity, you must now rack off. I swear at it too sometimes, okay? F off. Get off me. You have no right and no permission to stay and also get that conviction in your voice because when we get that conviction in our voice it gets built up that energy you know just imagine five guys come to your front door with balaclavas on they're wearing black clothing and they're all carrying assault rifles are you just going to sit there and go oh hi guys i don't want you here tonight no of course you're not you're going to say, get the hell out of my house. That's the conviction. Because the deeper and the full onness of it, we get that conviction in there. So it nicks off. Okay? So the sweeping, guys, do your armpits. 
get between your legs and sweep all that badness out of you. Okay, because that's what it is. It's bad energy. I give you no right or permission to stay on me. All the negativity around me and my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field, you must now near cough and get into that wheelie bin. Or if you're using the universe, all the bad energy around me, I don't want you here. Nick off up to the universe. Nick off past those furthest stars. I give you no right, no permission to stay on me. You have no right or permission to stay on my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. Okay? Sweep everywhere. The more you do it, the longer you do it for, the more you get off you. Don't just do it once. Do it for about 10 minutes, okay? When I do an aura cleanse on people, I make it go for 30 minutes, okay? I sit there and I get right in around the neck. Yeah, it's like a dog scratching itself, isn't it? Eh, 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 eh. Get it all off me. You've got no right or permission to stay on me. All this negative energy, you've got no right. Get off me. Get off me. You have no right. But don't touch yourself because we're only touching the energy in our aura. We're sweeping it away, okay? So it all goes into that energy, into the wheelie bin. Get off me. <clears throat> you have no right, no permission to stay. So get around the back of you. Go, get off me, get off me. Down around your groin area too, okay? Get off me. You have no right, no permission to stay, okay? So when you do this, you might feel a little bit, oh, what's just happened? Because you've got to remember here, guys, our cup, which is our body, is always 100% full. And we've just removed some, haven't we? Some of that energy. So now comes the fourth bit. So the first rule is believe. The second one is have the intention of what you want to get rid of, yeah? Third part is our sweeping, which is all that releasing of the energy. I release you from me. I give you no consent to stay. Nick off. Go back to where you come from. And the last one is to receive. But I forgot something. My wheelie bin with all that negative energy, it's still sitting there. So I imagine that wheelie bin, the rubbish bin. I put the lid back on. I lock the top with the padlock. And I push it down to the bottom of the pit of the core of the earth. And I say, there you go. You are now released from me. You have no further hold or attachment to me. And I now allow you to be universally realigned back to good positive energy. That was important. Don't forget that bit because if you're just pushing all that negative out of your house, it can stay there unless you tell it what you want with those intentions, okay? So I lock my wheelie bin, push it down to the center of the earth and I say, I wish you well. Thank you for what you've done for me. But always be grateful. Yeah, I have no further purpose for you. But I now allow you to be realigned back into good, positive energy for the universe. And it's done. So now we're sitting there feeling a little bit bluk because we've just taken off all this energy, right? So now we have to receive. And how do I receive good new energy? I can't get it from me because it's universal. So this is where I look at the sky. And I say, on the most highest respect, if you pray to a God, call out his name. If you call out to ascended masters like Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, call out their names. If you pray to the archangels of Michael, Gabriel, Uriel and all the others, call out their names. And the first thing you do is say, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to get rid of all this negativity from me. And now I request so humbly, for I am after all just your servant. Please fill me up with all your beautiful, white, loving, universal energies. Go back and write that line down. Okay? Watch it again so you do it again. Okay? 
So as I sit here now, depleted a little bit because I just got rid of more energy that's negative, I look at the sky and I say, please fill me up with all your white, loving, universal energies. I am so humbled that I am your servant and I am so grateful that I can do the job that you request of me. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here right at this present time. For whatever purpose I am here, I am obviously doing it for the mere fact that I am here. Powerful. Think of something powerful to say when we connect to those in the highest realms of the source, universe, heaven, whatever you want to call it. Show respect and be grateful and thankful that they are now filling you up with all the goodness that they possess. And now, I want to show you a photo. Because whenever I do aura cleanses on people, remember I see their auras, right? I actually see the sky open up and white feathers come falling down from the sky. And as these millions of white feathers, they're only little ones, you know, some of the little, bigger ones. And as I see millions of feathers going into this person who I've just taken all this energy from, they look like this. They get surrounded with white feathers. Now this is true, or else I wouldn't be showing you something that sort of looks similar. Okay? Yes, you can see that lady's face, okay? But I don't see the face because they're so condensed with all this whiteness. So as I see, if I'm, as I'm doing an aura cleanse on somebody else, I pick up all the feathers with my hands and I bring them into the person and I cocoon them around them like an egg. Remember in my video yesterday where I was saying about an egg? We, we protect our energies. Because now you've got all this white, loving, universal energy within you. Protect it for as long as you can. And that's the warning. What? Warning? Who said there was going to be a warning to this? <coughs> yes, there's a warning. Because once we receive all this beautiful white energy from the universe... Try and keep it on you for as long as possible. Don't go and listen to your screaming neighbours. Don't go and watch some show on TV where they're killing each other. Don't think about all this stuff from the governments on the news at the moment. Keep yourself in this wonderful, loving, inviting presence. Okay? Because we're inviting in all the goodness, all that love, cherishment treasured moments that we share with others we're inviting in kindness generosity appreciation we're inviting in forgiveness so we understand why other people are doing things under their own free will and we're also allowing in non-judgmental ways so we don't actually have to accuse or judge others for what they do okay so remember the four rules, guys. One, believe this works. Secondly, have that intention of what you want to create. Third one, sweep it all off you. Remember, neck, armpits, groin. Sweep all that negative energy wherever you send it to. Send it love as it goes off you. Thank you so much for being on me for whatever purpose. Now I just allow you to go off to the universe. And then, under the grace of God... The all-knowing, heavenly, ascended masters and the source of the universe. I allow your true, white, loving light to fill me in this space. Do you notice how I've changed since the beginning of the video? Because now I'm calm. Now it's like a peace has filled me. Peace. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace. I'm now not stressed because stress has no place in my energy field now. And it's when we hold ourselves in this higher vibration, we can't get sick. Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Mary Teresa, you look at all these saints and ascended masters hung around with thousands of people every day. They never got sick. 
because sicknesses and illnesses and mental health only operate in a lower vibrational plane. And what I've just done for all of you watching this is to put you into a higher vibrational plane. So now you're up here and all these illnesses and sicknesses can't attach to you anymore. Please watch this again. I would prefer you to do this. Write it down. Make your own list of how you do it. And don't go and pay somebody else to do it, guys. Do it for you. Do your kids. Just say, Joey, give me your arm, babe. I'm sweeping all the negativity off you. And now I'm filling you up with all this white loving goodness that looks like those feathers and that feather suit that I just showed. What sort of night do you think I'm going to have now, guys? I'm going to go and sleep extremely well. Because now I don't hold any negativity, and animosity, no jealousy, greed. There's nothing like that within me. I just allow everybody to do what they want. No judgment. Knowing I am the best that I could possibly be and that is my wish for every single one of you have a good night guys talk soon bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe to purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.